Welcome to the Geek Home World. I am your host, Savage Tech Man. We talk sci fi, TV, movies, superheroes, and all from a geek perspective. You can find us on Blogger, Google, Twitter, Facebook, we're everywhere. Join the Geek Home World. Welcome back to the Geek Home World. This is Ed and Cheryl, and I've decided that in honor of the big game that happened here in the States this weekend, that we're going to have our own superhero showdown, smackdown, <laughs> smack up, whatever. <laughs> if, if you're like us, you're probably not much of a sports fan. And before you ask us, we have no idea who won the game. <laughs> in fact... I have no idea who played the game. I really don't know at all this year. You don't. I usually yeah. have some idea. Sports guys get really steamed when I ask them if this is the game that has the orange ball or the pointy ball. <laughs> I feel bad when they ask me and I say, which golf ball is it a hole in one you're trying to do? <laughs> Just to like mess them up. Touchdown it's, on the baseball field. It's like when people take the um, mix uh, Star Trek and Star Wars. <laughs> together yeah that would the, make a geek mad so i the, guess i yeah, understand so. i guess i've i guess i feel bad now for messing with the sports guys I, I'm, I'm a little bit of a sports fan but i but we're both not really exactly sports aficionados we're desperately trying to seek a sports person for our trivia team desperately when we do our our trivia locally here and whenever we get a sports question our go-to answer is joe lewis <laughs> And once it that was actually the right answer to the right question. But it so. turn it turns out that the team that won the World Series was not Joe Lewis. It was. <laughs> I even said maybe he owned the team. <laughs> maybe Joe there's Lewis. a guy named Joe Lewis at the stadium. I'm sure somebody showed up no. with that name. Well, again, to help us better understand from a geek perspective what these sports fans are all about, one of my social media fans explained. Um, the big game in terms we can we can get she posted uh the football fandom is going nuts lots of cosplaying going on <laughs> tickets to the con however are totally outrageous <laughs> i'm sure they are you, you can't get in the game if you wanted to but of course one thing football fans do is pick fantasy teams mm -hmm. of their favorite players so we kind of decided that we were going to build our own fantasy football team of superheroes <laughs> and we're going to put our players head to head and see who comes out on top uh i'm going to be playing with dc superheroes and cheryl will present you with her marvel superheroes who will win well let's go position by position american football actually is the sport that we know the most about i think so we'll try our best to the best of our ability to explain what each of these positions does and realize that a lot of you aren't fans and some of you never see American football. I don't know how much American football y'all play in Singapore or, or uh, uh, France, or maybe. N Newfoundland or, or <laughs> Greenland. or Y'all you know, probably have the ice bowl up there, I imagine. <laughs> or Antarctica. <laughs> so, without further ado, let really? the games begin. <laughs> well, one of the positions that's very flexible is just linebacker and there there are offensive linemen and there are defensive guys these are basically just the big guys that keep you from moving down the field whether they're trying to keep the offense right. or the defense yeah. or whatever so there are lots of different kinds of linebacker positions so who are you going to put as a linebacker on your team and i believe in girl power okay <laughs> i've got two of the strongest women in dc oh on two there. women okay yes Wonder Woman and Supergirl <laughs> versus on the Marvel side. Well, I did go with one woman here. Okay. Um, I decided to go with Black Widow because she can kick anyone's hiney. I wouldn't mess with her. You, she won't let anybody get past her. Even an Amazon warrior? <laughs> it, like well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe she's <laughs> going to use her lasso, but I'm pretty sure I can get out of that. And then uh, as my other linebacker, I chose uh, Iron Man. Hmm. Because uh, that's another big, tough guy. You're not going to get past him at wow. all. <laughs> He's a billionaire playboy philanthropist <laughs> if you take off that suit. So Supergirl might just, you know, melt his suit. I don't know. Oh, but... oh you think he's going to be too distracted by Supergirl to be able to <laughs> hold the line? Possibly. <laughs> hold anything. You're going to want... <laughs> gonna, uh, 
I don't know. He's been tamed a little by Pepper, I think. So uh, somewhat. He somewhat. has he has no eyes for for your chicks. <laughs> Of course, another position that requires really big guys, and there are usually really big guys, are the tackles. So they're the guys who just knock you down and uh, keep you from moving anywhere past the line of scrimmage. Um, so who would you choose? Well, on my DC team, I would choose the Man of Steel himself, <laughs> Superman, and I would choose Captain Marvel or Shazam <laughs> because they are two big powerhouses. You, you can't stop them. They're, they're pretty much a iron curtain, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, but, but I think I've got a much better choice on my side of the line. I've got the Hulk mm. and Thing, because these are big, solid guys. And all they have to do, it's kind of like back in the 80s when the Chicago Bears had William the Refrigerator Perry. <laughs> like, all he had to do was fall on top of you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a tackle. <laughs> that's a tackle. That's a whole refrigerator on you. <laughs> I mean, both Hulk and Thing smash. And, and, and true now, the Hulk, the, the matter he gets. <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to beat he Superman down in the ground. I mean, he's beat uh, Iron Man down. He's beat Thor down. I don't know. I think Superman will give Hulk a run for his I money. I don't know but... about that. Well, he might give him a run because I don't think Hulk can run that fast. <laughs> that's why he's not my receiver. <laughs> Okay. Speaking of, the receiver is the one who actually runs out, and when the quarterback throws the ball, the receiver is the guy that receives it and runs down the field. And sometimes those guys run for 80, 90 yards. So. Which would be nothing for the person that I picked. Oh, uh, who did you pick? The Flash. <laughs> He, he can pretty much time travel. He like goes that. so fast. Yeah. <laughs> He's there before you even hike the ball. Well, I have to say, I think that I have... Um, I could go with Quicksilver because he can do that too and move faster than everything else out there. Mm-hmm. But, but I have a better idea for my receiver. Who's that? I chose Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because once he gets the ball, he's just going to shrink down. And y'all can't even see him. You can't, no way you can stop him from getting to the end of the field. <laughs> uh, maybe true. You might have me on that one. Now, also on the offensive line is the center. So that's the guy in the center. And he is the one who hikes the ball to the quarterback. So he's a. Uh, they're blocking the way, kind of helping make decisions, I think, with the quarterback and keeping people from getting through the line as well. So who would you choose? Uh, I picked John Jones, the Martian Manhunter, because he's got invisibility. <laughs> so he can hike the ball and you won't even know it. <laughs> and, you can just uh, run into him and have no idea what he, you just ran into. Exactly. He, you can phase right through him <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Well, I decided to go with Nick Fury because he's always in the center of things, and he's one bad mother effer. <laughs> he's tired of these mother <laughs> effers and this mother effer and game. But I think I I'm think, tired of these mother effing linebackers on my mother effing gridiron. <laughs> but like he said in the <laughs> in Captain America, Nick Fury said that. You got to keep both eyes on me. So I worry about your pick for Nick Fury because he can really only see out of one eye. He's only got one good eye. But uh, that's all he needs. That's all he needs. I don't know. Who needs two eyes? Uh, <laughs> of course, the position that I would play if I was going to be a professional football player is the kicker. Because you only have to come out once in a while. You don't have to be very big. You don't have to be fast. All you got to do is kick the ball, and you go all over the country making lots of money. You know, it's not as much as the quarterback, but you make good money. I could live off of that. You don't have to worry about anybody hurting you. <laughs> <laughs> so who would you choose as your kicker? I would choose Green Lantern. <laughs> Why? He, he could, like, make his own artificial, uh, using his, his ring, his own artificial tee to kick the ball off if he had to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's Green Lantern. <laughs> He'll run out of heroes. <laughs> I have to say, this was a difficult position, but ultimately, I was inspired by honest trailers on YouTube, the Screen Junkies, mm-hmm. and I chose <laughs> Captain America because I remember... For Winter Soldier. Their, their the trailer for Winter Soldier. They said he's back and he didn't skip leg day. <laughs> so so I figured give, the I'll guy with the best one. legs <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> gets to be my kicker. Although awesome. kickers often are small, but that's okay. That's okay. He he could be Steve Rogers or that's Captain true. America. Either way, he could still be a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he didn't skip leg day. You definitely want him with the super soldier serum, though. He's much more effective. Well, of course, the other position that, that sometimes gets the ball from the quarterback is the running back. So sometimes the quarterback will hand him the ball or toss him the ball or they you know, make it look like they're going to pass, but they give it to the running back guy. So he's got to be kind of tricky. He's got to be kind of fast. He's got to be... He's got to be fast, but still be strong and big. So, who would you who would you choose? I chose just the most obvious character of Cyborg <laughs> because he was a football player, and that's what he did. <laughs> so he already knows the game more than all these superheroes do because he played it. But uh. <laughs> well, I chose Mister Fantastic. Can you guess we, why? Because <laughs> uh, he's really awesome. No. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, so you can't think the way my brain thinks. You can't conceive the way my brain uh, thinks. I cannot. I chose Mr. Fantastic because he doesn't <laughs> even have to move. He can just stretch out and bend and get out of the way of everybody. He can he can move the ball down the field without ever moving his feet. <laughs> he just he just stretches all the way down the end of the field. <laughs> And yeah. he can bend around backwards and get the ball from the quarterback if he's gone backwards or he's just super flexible. No, it definitely is. <laughs> well, that's, that's a weird choice. <laughs> um, what about your quarterback? Of course, he's the guy who's kind of the head of the team. He decides what the plays are going to be. He's the one who decides where the ball's going to go, and he has to get it there. Well, he would probably booby trap everything before the game began, <laughs> but uh, my quarterback would definitely be Batman. <laughs> Batman. He's on Batman. You know, he's just when you think you got him beat, you know, Batman would be able to tell everybody where to go, even though he likes working alone. Uh, I don't know. I chose Batman. I think he'd be good. Well, I chose, again, another one you probably wouldn't have guessed. I chose Agent Coulson to be my quarterback because he's the guy who's calling the shots and because, like, all of the... All the Avengers are are protecting him. So, like, when he gets killed in the Avengers, everybody's sad and the whole team falls apart. So, without Agent Coulson, there's no team. (laughs) But (laughs) but, but at the same time, he's he's one bad dude, too. I mean, you can't mess with him. I I love Coulson, don't get me wrong. And he keeps his calm. He keeps his cool. (laughs) He can take the pressure. Yeah, he can take the pressure, but every time his team goes into something in every episode, it always screws up. So is he really as good as tactician as maybe Batman? I don't know. I don't know, but Batman's kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, I, I chose on here so, uh, one of my team members to sideline because there's no <laughs> water. On the sideline? <laughs> put him on the sideline. Maybe he's the cheerleader. I don't know. I have to wait till Batman versus Superman when he makes okay. an appearance. But Aquaman, I mean, really, Aquaman. what's he going to do? On the sideline. Is he going to have a whale jump out of his wheel <laughs> after you? What? Is he going to have the seagulls come Maybe after he'll you? turn the field to water and it'll be like, I'm not sure. Right. Water polo. He's strong in his own right, but on land really okay okay well if you're gonna add extra players in then i'm gonna add a coach and my coach is gonna be magneto because he can just bend the field goal down so they don't have to go so far to score if the, wow. if, if uh, captain america kicks the ball to the side magneto can just move the field goal so they can still get the points well i didn't even pick a coach <laughs> we got batman batman would, man wouldn't allow a coach <laughs> Because he'd be he's in Batman. charge. I'm Batman. <laughs> he's got that cancer problem in his <laughs> throat. That throat he should really have that looked at. He's got to get that looked at. Get some lozenges so, or something in there. So I've got to ask you, who is our halftime <laughs> show? <laughs> I I have to say, I think that that's an episode for another day. I will think about that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of the Geek Homeworld Podcast with your host, Savage Tech Man. You can find us on Libsyn, Google+, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, listen to us on iTunes, see us on YouTube, be part of our Mixler chats. Thank you. See you again on the Geek Homeworld Podcast. Uh